Hello once again. This video is sort of biographical, just in case people who don't know me watch these things. If you don't already know, I'm a loner. 22 years I've lived here with my parents, being a professional idiot. And it's wonderful. And as the time of the idiots may be passing, I feel I must express this. As a child, I've sought to cheat in many competitive games. Of course, I usually did so by trying to add a new rule or change an existing one. Nearly everyone would simply call me on it, calling it cheating, and telling me no. It took me a long time to learn to simply play by the rules and for the fun of it. Having behaved like a spoiled brat, I can recognize this silliness in others. The United States government, indeed most governments and corporate entities around the world, are behaving like spoiled, petulant children. This time I feel literally rewriting the rules would serve us all well. To this end, I've got some redefinitions one may use or ignore. Happiness is a state of unconditional joy, or natural state. Freedom's another word for it. Peace. Enlightenment. Eh. Silly words. Unhappiness is an unbalanced state, characterized by an inconsistent and conditional swaying between pleasure or pain. emotion. A god or goddess, a supreme being of infinite capacity, creative and destructive, knowledgeable and forgetful. A master is a being completely aware of itself, reliant on nothing. Love. Love is the first need of any and all life forms. It's a ridiculous affection that is, a, once again, our very nature felt as unity or oneness with all things despite any agreement or consent from those things. Fear is the primal emotion, the only thing that holds us back. Rights. Hmm. I define rights based on more recent events in history. As we know them today, our rights are in notions supported by our governments, the intention being that our governments give us our rights or at least protect them, which they have lately proven to be false with our utter lack of privacy, the war on drugs, and the ridiculous forwarding of the fossil fuel agenda despite international outcry. Medicine is anything that serves to cleanse or strengthen the body. Treating symptoms is usually not medicinal. A former governor, Jesse Ventura, Along with many U.S. soldiers and citizens have announced that politics in America are in dire need. The state of irrational greed and corruption is so thick that we may have reached the point where nothing less than a vast majority of the population engaging in peaceful dissent will halt this police state. If you find that term police state to be silly or even preposterous, here are some facts for you. Mr. Ventura hosted a TV show called Conspiracy Theory, and before the show was cancelled, some episodes were never allowed to air. South Park was similarly, blah, blah, similarly censored when Kyle tried to speak out about standing up to terrorists. Mythbusters tried to make an episode about RFID chips and how easy it would be for a government to implement them and track its citizens. They were told not to make the episode. A group of people running a lemonade stand in D.C. were arrested, as have many Occupy protesters. The war on drugs has claimed countless innocent people as prisoners. And there they sit. I don't feel a need to cite any of this. Despite all the censorship of South Park, dead baby jokes still air. That's a double standard, my friends. As of making this, I think my YouTube has a total around 100 views. I don't care. If there's any chance this petition will get one more signature, I'm doing it. My petition says, if we do not speak the truth, then our freedom of speech is worth nothing. The Patriot Act, the war on drugs, and the Bradley Manning trial have laid bare the corrupted state of our government. To quote Edward Snowden, the consent of the governed is not consent if it is not informed. And we are certainly not informed. It took people breaking the law to inform us, and that is by definition the opposite of a democracy.
and now the letter for the petition is to President Barack Obama, hopefully. As a citizen of the United States of America, I demand that you speak nothing but the truth, as we swear to in court. Otherwise, you are not able to adequately lead. If we have freedom of speech, then we must speak the truth. That is what gives our words value. I call on you to immediately give Bradley Manning a full pardon and repeal the Patriot Act, the National Defense Authorization Act, and the Federal Restricted Buildings and Grounds Improvement Act. I demand that you end the war on drugs and decriminalize all substances, free all the prisoners merely imprisoned on charges of holding a substance that was illegal. I also demand that you dismantle all the vast surveillance programs as they are unconstitutional. The American people deserve to know the truth. I don't know how many millions of documents have been classified, but we all deserve the right to read them if we fancy it. Peace.